Hello students, welcome to the session. Uh, in today's class, we shall study about load line analysis uh, from the paper 6 of unit 2. So, in the previous classes, we have seen what is AC and DC circuit and how to draw AC and DC equivalent circuit. So, today we will see how to draw load line. Uh, now, what is this load line analysis? So, in the CE amplifier, we have seen both DC as well as AC conditions coexist. So, uh, both DC and AC lines are taken up as both DC and AC conditions coexist in CE amplifier. Therefore, we can draw AC equivalent circuit and DC equivalent circuit separately. So, the DC load line determines the locus of IC and VCE in zero signal condition that means uh, in no signal condition and AC load line shows the above values in the presence of the signal that means in the presence of AC signal. So, next we see how to draw DC load line. So, what is DC load line? In this picture, we can see a straight line is drawn from y axis to x axis. So, uh, such a line is called as DC load line in an output characteristic curve of a transistor amplifier. So, we know the basics of a transistor, uh, how to bias a transistor and what is input characteristic curve, what is output characteristic curve. So, we come across this concept load line analysis in the output characteristic curve of a CE amplifier where the transistor acts as an amplifier. So, in DC load line, in the output characteristic curve of a transistor, we draw a straight line which is called as a DC load line. So, this is a line on the output characteristics of a trans, uh, transistor which gives the values of IC and VCE corresponding to no signal conditions. So, that is DC load line. This is very important the corresponding to no signal condition that means uh, while considering DC load line we should not take the AC conditions that means under no signal condition. No signal condition means a AC signal is absent, no AC signal is applied. So, under these conditions we get a straight line on the output characteristic curve uh, which coincides with the curve, output characteristic curve. So, for that let us consider let us imagine this circuit output characteristic circuit. So, this is the C amplifier circuit whose DC equivalent circuit is this. Now, apply KVL Kirchhoff voltage law to the output side of this circuit, this DC equivalent circuit. So, when you apply KVL to the output side we get this equation VCC is equal to IC into RC plus VCE plus IE into RE which is nothing but this one. So, VCC is equal to the product of current and resistance IC RC plus voltage across the transistor Output, uh, output side of a transistor that is VCE voltage drop VCE plus IE into RE. So, that is nothing but this equation. Now, let us rearrange this equation. Uh, so, VCC minus IC RC minus VCE minus IE RE is equal to 0. So, equal to 0 and once again rearrange uh, so that VCE, this third term VCE is equal to VCC minus 
ICRC minus IERE. So, now that is equal to 0. So, this VCE voltage drop across this transistor output side is equal to VCC minus this VCC power supply uh, voltage VCC minus ICRC minus IERE voltage drop across the emitter. So, once again rearranging this we get VCE is equal to VCC minus IC and IC is taken as common because the current across the resistor output resistor RC as well as emitter resistor is same. So, current drop across those two resistors is same therefore, it can be taken as equal and uh, by taking like this we get the equation VCE is equal to VCC minus IC into RC plus RE. So, this is considered as equation number 1. So, this equation number 1 is actually a straight line equation with VCE along x axis and IC along y axis. So, in the output characteristic curve we can see the y axis is taken as IC along x axis VCE is taken. So, therefore, we consider henceforth we consider VCE as x and IC as y. So, in this equation 1 we can see there is VCE as well as there is IC which is x and y. So, in this equation which contains x and y uh, with the slight changes with the slight rearrangement we can make this equation like this. So, which is nothing but IC is equal to minus 1 by RC plus RE into VCE plus VCC by RC plus RE which is named as equation 2 and this is the equation 2 is same as the equation Y is equal to MX plus C which is the straight line equation the standard equation for a straight line. IC as Y and VCE as X, Y is equal to MX plus C. So, this is the equation for a straight line. Uh, we will see the next part in the next video. Thank you.